Well, I've certainly just loved it. It's been a terrific trip. The destination is exotic, coming here to Cambodia and Vietnam and doing it in great comfort and luxury is a terrific treat. I have found it absolutely soul-searching, just profound. I've loved everything about it. It's the only way to see the Mekong River. By coming on this cruise, you're in five-star luxury and you cruise to the destination. Every day you wake up in a new Asian experience. I think it's the best of both worlds. It's wonderful to have these authentic, genuine encounters, but at the end of the day to be able to come back to a comfortable cabin, of course, air conditioning, it's, it's wonderful, but a comfortable space to just get some relaxation because this is my vacation. Uh, so that combination of a real experience plus having a safe haven to enjoy in the evening as well as people to share experiences with was just a perfect balance. The Mekong. It is truly one of the world's most fascinating rivers. With Ama Waterways, you'll discover the Mekong River's abundant and unspoiled riches, fishing villages and ancient temples seemingly untouched by time, kind and welcoming people, and remarkable natural beauty. Along the way, your home will be Ama Waterways' custom-designed state-of-the-art ships, the most luxurious and immersive experience on the Mekong. You can start your journey to Indochina with an optional visit to Vietnam's bustling capital, Hanoi, and breathtaking Ha Long Bay for an overnight luxury cruise on a traditional junk. Then fly with us to Siem Reap, Cambodia, the gateway to the spectacular Angkor Archaeological Park. From here, you'll embark on your unforgettable cruise. You'll discover Phnom Penh, Cambodia's vibrant capital city, as well as fascinating towns and villages as you wind along the Mekong back into Vietnam and Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon, as it's still known to its residents. Now, our passengers will introduce you to Ama Waterways Vietnam, Cambodia, and the riches of the Mekong. I think I enjoyed more than anything Hanoi. It was a big highlight to be able to attend the water puppets. And it's just the most amazing show. Halong Bay and the Junk are definitely one of the highlights, no doubt. Yeah, I loved it. The bay itself was just still. And then there's these little bits of mountains coming out of it. It was just almost spiritual. And then we stayed overnight on a junk, and that was fabulous too. Anchor Wat was was just was just fabulous. I mean, it was just something I've seen in books, but I just never expected to see it. You can see photographs, you can see people's pictures, but that it just doesn't do it justice. It's on a scale that I think it was as incredible, really, and the detail and the the, the incredible amount of work and the age of the. It's just, it's, it's mind-boggling, it really is. And it was also marvelous to see the small villages, the floating villages. That to me is actually the highlight. Um, places where we have virtually not seen another European face. They're so welcoming, they wave to you, it's just terrific. The reason that I travel is really to learn about other cultures and other people and to engage with the people. I met these two little girls they were pointing to the picture and smiling and laughing, and I just really enjoy meeting people. And today, for example, we went to Tan Chau. We were put on a rickshaw. The people that we passed were all smiling and waving, and we were waving back as though we were stars. So totally different to anything that I've been anywhere else in the world. The people were charming. Everything we saw was charming. The little ride we had was charming. It was just what you would call a perfect day. And then having the local guides to really bring that experience to life uh, has been absolutely essential. Sharing their own personal experiences has made this trip, I think, uh, gold-plated in every sense of the word. And I think that is the true outcome of travel. As Mark Twain often is quoted as saying is that travel is the enemy of ignorance. We 
we've gotten into those tiny villages we've never <laughs> seen any other way and uh, in the process had all the comforts of home. I can't see myself or my friends backpacking. We're past that. We want some luxury and we want some fun but we also want the experience um, of Cambodia and Vietnam especially right now while it's sort of unspoiled. It's the best way to do it because you're taking your luxury bedroom with you and you don't have to pack, unpack. River cruising is really good. I enjoy it. The ship is excellent, well equipped, well appointed, uh, very, very comfortable. You can feel the atmosphere of the of French colonial architecture of the late of, uh, 19th or early of 20th century, uh, all the decor on our ship. The cabin, when you walk in, it's rich looking with the dark wood and, and we have a balcony and uh, lots of room with all the amenities. The shower is fabulous, stand-up shower, you've got to love that. Um, it's, the bed is very comfortable. It's just perfect. I certainly have enjoyed the fact that there is complimentary internet available in the lounge in addition to DVDs that we can watch in the nice television that is provided in our room. It's very, very convenient. The food has been just wonderful. I um, have enjoyed the various Asian flavors, the different fruits. First of all, you have a full range of local delicacies, local dishes, which enable you to immerse yourself into the local cuisine and culture. But at the same token, there's a fine selection of Western foods, and they're delicious. The free flow of wine and beer makes it certainly <laughs> very pleasant. <laughs> the staff, because they're local staff, have, have a sense of pride and hospitality. They want to welcome me as a visitor to their country. The staff are excellent. Our tour director particularly couldn't have been better. We've travelled with him the whole 22 days and I think that he's done a wonderful job. We have listened to some very good lectures in, um, in Cambodia. We have heard the background here in Vietnam. The local entertainment has been very interesting. These were real local entertainers. I mean, a lot of them didn't speak English, but we still connected with them. And so I think that was very authentic. This is my second Alma Waterways experience, and I will recommend Alma Waterways to uh, to friends and colleagues especially and to experience the uh, Southeast Asia, to experience Vietnam. We have some friends that have asked us to check it out for them and we've decided that yes it's a definite recommendation for them. Really truly comfortable traveling. And uh, all the trimmings around it are, are certainly very gratifying. The food, the service, so yes, river cruising is definitely going to become a hobby. <laughs> To book your AMA Waterways vacation, contact your travel professional. We can't wait to show you firsthand AMA Waterways Vietnam, Cambodia, and the riches of the Mekong.